Hello Virgo and welcome to your March 2022 general reading. We are jumping today in this Celtic cross and trying to understand what are the energies around you in this month of March 2022. Okay, so you're starting in a great place here of uh, emotional fulfillment happy ending so i see right now virgo that you have reached the end of the rainbow and you found the pot of gold and this is regarding family regarding love regarding family leaving you are in this very moment in a discovery of what brings you homely happiness and on top of that you are finally in touch with your deeper feelings you know uh, what your feelings are and even if you're not like communicating this to the world you know very well that you are now balanced, you are now fulfilled, and you know what you feel regards the situation. And your focus right now, Virgo, is in fulfilling this wish that you have. Because you have the start in in your focus over here in your recent past i see that you were holding on to some earthly matters very very tightly and as i see that this rabbit is escaping over here as well as this these colored birds are flying away i understand that you had to let go of some values some material values or some traditional values that you had that suddenly you understood that they were not in line with you anymore they were connected to you in a very very weak thread and you had to isolate yourself and meditate to understand that you had to let these values go they were not what was bringing you the real riches the real abundance and from the status of the king of chalices you humbled yourself to the status of the knight of pentacles and understanding that you are very abundant humbling yourself and understanding that if your progress is slow but steady you can bring abundance to everyone that is around you and you want to bring abundance to everyone that is around you because i see here that you are blowing the horn so you are telling everyone that you have this abundance and you want to give and to share and I think that this is connected once again to your house, to your home or to your family, to the ones you love, because you have here a little gnome that is always connected to uh, the familiar sphere. In your recent future here, Virgo, I also see that you are very humble because, you know, this Knight of Wands which is a very passionate night. He is in Egypt, in amongst of the pyramids. And this is a sign that you have retreated yourself to go and gather the most spiritual and ancient knowledge so you could ascend and you could 
bring this passion into your life or into somebody's life. I don't know, because this guy is looking ahead and he's given someone this fire, you know? So maybe you're bringing into your life or into someone's life all this passion, this action, this will to make things different and make things better with this ancient knowledge that you gathered when you were retreating in the desert by yourself. The universe wants you to have a very specific approach here, Virgo, and this is the Ace of Chalices. So, in this tarot deck, the Ace of Cups or the Ace of Chalices is very, very clear. These are feelings and they are being pouring out. And the Moon are also feelings. So I see that the universe is telling you to pour out everything that you have in your heart, to show, to reveal your feelings because they will bring even more abundance. Once again, the universe is letting you know, and you have now the third night in this reading, which is the Night of Swords. And this talks about thinking, planning, So, I see that you have on the table all the four elements, especially pentacles. But when you have this amount of passion, feelings, fire, <laughs> Pentacles, I can see that you are really planning all the facets, all the aspects of your life. In the hopes and fears, we have the five of pentacles. And in this deck, it is not this sensation of lack or mentality of lack that you have in the other decks. You have here a connection from nature, the old woman and the young woman, and they are connected through the pentacle. In the middle, you have a rabbit that is abundance, and beyond the tree, you have the sun coming through. So I understand here that in your hopes and fears you are fearing that you will not be able to balance this naivety that you have with all the knowledge that you have or at the same time that you know that you're very experienced you also know that you have a lot to learn and you're scared because this is a little bit of a dark place, you know. But you have a big pentacle over there and a rabbit that brings fertility and abundance. And this is telling me that you're fearing that you're not enough. You're fearing that you're not capable. But if you stop overthinking and if you get out of this place of darkness, right beyond the tree... There's the sun, there's the light. And in the outcome, we have the Four of Wands, which is the card of the celebration. It's also the card of the hand fasting, which is the marriage in a witchcraft uh, tradition. So... As in the bottom of the deck, you have the tower. 
I understand that something came to an end here, forced, or you came into contact with an undeniable new reality. And the outcome of this situation, Virgo, is a very positive one, which is union, which is celebration of love, celebration of love with passion. So, I think that this tower actually came to bring you all of this stability that you didn't knew you have and that you are rediscovering in, in a new way that will bring reunion, that will bring happiness, okay? So, now let's ask um, to this wonderful oracle deck, which is mermaids and dolphins, magical mermaids and dolphins, for some additional advice for you. And we get two cards, one from the top and one from the bottom, okay? So, Virgo, let yourself receive. Allow others to give you loving care. Receive without guilt or apologies. Tranquility. Make time to relax, be still, and enjoy your solitude. Indul indulging in much-needed self-care. Yes. So, let yourself receive. Somehow, I was brought again to this card over here, okay, and tranquility, because I think this tower moment and all of this that you have been through in the last, uh, in the latest period of your life, it has been a little bit shaky and you need a little bit of self-care, so take care of yourself, take time to uh, do the things that you love, and be surrounded by uh, the people that you love and especially let people love and take care of you, okay? Not only the other way around. So Virgo, thank you very much for sharing your time with me. I hope I had helped you in any way, shape or form. Until we meet again, take care. Bye-bye.